Hey, Coach Oz here. So if you're over 40, just think for a second, okay? How many, I guess, programs, diets, how many things have you tried? And kind of how much success did you have? But probably way more important to ask is after that kind of success, maybe during that program, during that diet, what happened after? Did you gain some of it back? Did you gain none of it back and you've just continued on? Did you gain the same? But in many cases, most people that kind of lose weight or do anything kind of really uh, restrictive, pretty aggressive, short formed, um, that's just not sustainable, is they gain even more back than what they've lost. So what I would try to say is reframe the mind for a second, right? <clears throat> hey, hey, Coach Oz here. So ask yourself this question. If you're over 40, right, how many things have you done? How many programs, how many diets have you tried, succeeded, failed at? Right? You probably maybe seen great results kind of during, but let's ask the question, the more important question is what happened after? Did you gain some back? Did you gain none back? Or did you gain, gain even more back than what you've lost? Okay? So you kind of got to think like, again, should I just continue with this same kind of just this trial and error, if you will, or just this, this cycle through? And you got to kind of like stop, right? I mean, that, you know, just you owe it to yourself and probably even, you know, obviously that yours significant around you to kind of say, I need to kind of really understand how I'm doing my things. And so reframe the mind for a second, right? Most people view, you know, in terms of their fitness, right? Is I need to lose. So it's all about loss, isn't it? Well, I had divorced, uh, you know, I had a traumatic event, uh, you know, something happened in my life um, and I need to lose the weight. I need to lose this. I need to go on a diet so I can lose my comfort food. It's just loss, 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 right? Think about it for a second, and I'm not saying that this will work for everybody, but again, I guarantee you, if you only view your fitness and health habits, I guess, in the forms of, I need to lose something, then I guarantee you guys, you're set up for failure. I'm sorry to say, but you're, you're literally, you're set up for failure right from the get-go. Think about it in terms of what you can gain. And again, it comes back to not just literally honing in on just the weight scale, perhaps, but not just that itself. Just what can I gain from basically, number one, uh, gaining control of my health, of my schedule, of me time. One, you're probably gonna feel damn good about yourself. Forget about the looks for a second, guys. Just, I'm feeling damn good. I've said it all along, but I'm feeling now that, you know what, I'm mentally there, but I, I'm getting more control. I'm finally having you know, a level of, of confidence in my own ability. I look at myself in the mirror and I say, hey, progress is happening. Think about the damn energy, the, the vitality that you're gonna get from having different habits. And again, not just a pigeonhole, even just say eating healthy and only say exercising. Those are huge factors, no question. But think of it also, maybe I need to control my sleep. Maybe I gotta have kind of um, a bit more connectiveness with my relationships that matter to me most. Maybe I need to obviously work on my stress. Um, there's various methods to kind of come back to your health and wellness. Fitness and nutrition, like I said, is huge. But what can you gain? No joke, because if you're over 40, like I said, I mean, you're looking for longevity right? You don't want to go through this cycle that you've done maybe for 10, 15, 20 plus years, right? So don't just aim on the losses and just kind of reframe to say, what can I truly get? And honestly, you just chat with people or times that you were doing very really well, even in a program, how good were you feeling? Man, I had more energy. I just sex drive. I mean, I just felt confident. It's like, wow, I just had onus of my own self, right? Yeah. Then things fell off the rail, but it's kind of like, let's address why they did. But think about, you can get that back. You can get that feeling back, which I think can really impact so many other areas of your life. So think about what you can gain versus just, like I said, those kind of losses and subtractions. And that certainly might help you kind of keep some sustainability.